Hello guys, it's Kudo and today in this video I will show you how you can make a QR code scanner for your mobile device. So that will complete the other video about the generated QR code and with this application you can read your QR code you just generate with the other video. So let's get into it. So welcome back to the second part of this tutorial about the scanning QR code. So in this part I will show you the code for be able to scan the QR code. So let's get into it. So last time I we just set up the camera to be able to to have a device who can see what the camera see. So after this we need to create so let's create a private so a private void uh, scan. All right. And this function uh, will basically do the scan of the QR code. So we'll use a try catch. So try. Uh, we need to try something. If if um, if it's not doing something, so we we'll just catch uh, an exception. And basically, what I'm gonna catch is just something very easy. So I will use uh, the text mesh pro. So basically, the text out. So text out. Dot uh, text uh, will be equal to uh, failed uh, in try all right uh, in the try function so in this function we'll uh, be able to scan the QR code so what we need to use is um, is the interface so I uh, bar code reader uh, as name say that is a reader so let's call this uh, bar code uh, reader will be equal to a uh, new barcode reader all right like this and what we need to do so we'll just put result of uh, result will be equal to barcode reader so the, the variable we just declare uh, in this function and we'll use a decode function so as the name saying that will be able to decode the QR code so decode and basically it will put in parameter um the some texture so basically if i show you it will take a raw uh, rgb of byte the width and the height so i think you guessed it what will put in parameter it will be the cam texture and will get uh, the pixel of 32 because it will take a 32 byte all right uh, in second parameter we'll use the camera texture dot uh, width and do, no, uh, do not forget we just put the width here with the scan zone so it will be very nice and what we need to put in second parameter so uh, same as the first one so camera texture uh, dot not width but height and uh, basically guy that's it so last thing we need to check so we'll take if uh, result is uh, different than null so different that null all right, uh, we just need to show what uh, the QR code is scanning. So I will do uh, text out dot text will be equal to result dot uh, text. If it's not, so else, what I'm gonna do, I just say, okay, uh, text, uh, text out dot text uh, will be equal to uh, fail to uh, read QR code. So we can save this and uh, what we need to create is another function. So let's call this function public uh, void on click uh, scan. All right. And basically this uh, function we'll just call this one. I know I can put everything inside, but I don't want to. It's just more beautiful. So we just set up the camera, we just set up the scan, and right now we need to use the update function to be able to uh, update basically the render of the camera. So uh, we need to create a private uh, void update, so update camera render, and basically, uh, we will need 
uh, will need to check. So if uh, his camera is available, so is camera available equal equal to false, we just need to return because we don't want to go furthermore. If it's not, um, we'll put a float uh, ratio. So to be able to handle the whole screen, that will be equal. So uh, we need to cast uh, the camera texture. So float camera texture dot width. And we will divide this by float. Uh, let's cast this again. Float uh, camera texture dot height. All right. And uh, the, aspect, uh, the aspect ratio of the filter, we, uh, I will show you why we need this. Uh, dot aspect ratio will be equal to ratio. Why we're using the aspect ratio? Basically, it's to be able to um, to the camera to to take everything uh, uh, everything on the screen and not uh, and not take uh, just a small part of our device. All right, so after this, what we need to do is to handle the rotation of my raw image. So to do this, we need to create an int and call this one orient orientation, orientation. And this will be equal to a minus, so camera texture dot video uh, rotation angle. So basically, we just need uh, we just flip um, we just need to do a rotation on the raw image. So basically, we will just do raw image background dot uh, rec transform dot uh, local angle will be equal to a new uh, vector three of uh, zero zero oops uh, zero uh, zero and we'll put orientation. And uh, that's it, guys. So let's save this. Do not forget to call your update function, uh, update camera render in your update function. We can save this and we can head back to Unity to drag and drop our, um, our functionality. So as you can see, the QR code, so we need to add uh, our scanner. So QR code uh, scanner, all right. And it will ask a raw image. So that's nice because we got a background raw image. It will ask an aspect ratio fitter. So I forget to, to put this on the background raw image. So on the background raw image, we will need to add a component. So this component will be, so add component, uh, aspect uh, ratio fitter and I will put the mode um, envelope parent like this it will envelope the canvas so let's save this after that on the QR code it will ask our uh, aspect ratio fitter so we just add it so drag and drop it the text out so it will be the output text and the scan zone will be the scan uh, but the scan zone all right so as soon as you drag and drop everything, do not forget to go on the button and um, go on the on click function and drag and drop the QR code reader. And let's add the function on click scan. After that, just save the send and you can build and run. So file, build searching, build and run. Okay, so right now I just built the application on my mobile device. So I changed the color of my text because it was black on black and you can't see anything. So I opened the other um, the other uh, scene about the, uh, remember the other tutorial about generate, uh, generated the QR code. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go on, the, um, on this Unity instance, let's hit play and uh, we'll type some text. So for example, uh, test uh, text QR code, QR code, and let's generate it. So start encode. And as you can see, we got some QR code generated. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just go on, the, on my phone and just hit scan to see if it's working. So it's not working, so let's do another shot. So put this like this. And as you can see, test text QR code is working. So if I put another text, maybe uh, uh, this is a good tutorial. This is 
uh, a good tutorial tutorial all right let's uh, start encoding and let's try to to retrieve the text as you can see he will retrieve it uh, very easy so that's it guys so hope you enjoy the video and ho hope you learned something and um, and voila that will be the end of this tutorial about the scanner qr code thank you for watching thanks for watching so if content equal equal to like or user learn something equal to true user should thumb up plus subscribe else user should dislike but help me to improve. Thank you, and I'll catch you guys next time.